Now, ahead of the November 16th governorship elections in Kogi and Bayoso states, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has raised alarm that thugs have been mobilized from within and outside the states with the aim of either influencing the elections or disrupting the process on behalf of partisan sponsors. The chairman of the commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, said this on Friday in Abuja during the quarterly consultative meeting of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security. According to him, the meeting was mainly to review the security situation and security arrangement for the governorship elections holding in the two states in the next 15 days. He said that INEC will continue to engage with stakeholders to ensure peaceful and credible polls and will on Thursday, the 7th of November 2019, organize yet another meeting with stakeholders in Bielsa State to be followed by another meeting on Monday, the 11th uh, November 2019 in Kogi State. The chairman said the Inspector General of Police, the Director General of NYC, and representatives of all the security agencies need to listen to the concerns of stakeholders and fine-tune their plans in full consultation with the stakeholders. Meanwhile, the Nigerian police force says it will deploy about 66,241 police personnel for both the Bayelsa and Kogi State's governorship elections. Inspector General of Police Mohamed Adamu made this known during a quarterly interagency consultative meeting on election security in Abuja. The IG said that with the lessons learned during the 2019 polls, the force is ready to improve on its lapses to ensure adequate security during and after the elections. In Bayelsa State, we are deploying about 31,041 personnel to cover the election. In Kogi State, we are deploying about 35,200 personnel to cover the election. These personnel are to cover every terrain in the two states. No doubt will be allowed to be brought from any other adjoining state to these states to disrupt elections. And the personnel who are deploying every pooling unit, the personnel we send will be attached by names and then telephone numbers. So that if you call pooling unit A, we'll be, we'll be able to know the, the names of the personnel we send to those pooling units to provide security and we have their phone number that we can easily have contact with. Board buying, as usual, will not be tolerated. Anybody seen close to any pooling unit trying to buy votes will be promptly arrested or will be, or will be prosecuted. Nigerians expect that by now we have learned enough lessons from previous elections to ensure a swift security response to the increasing desperation by political actors to disrupt elections and subvert the will of the electorate. If that happens, many Nigerians will blame the electoral umpire and the security agencies. We must continue to rise to this challenge. On our part, INEC is committed to the integrity of the process. We will be reassured by the security agencies that election day activities at polling units and collection centers will not be disrupted by the activities of hoodlums. Neither will thugs be allowed to cut away election results or compel our returning officers to make declarations under duress. We are equally confident that with the sheer number of personnel the security agencies are deploying in the two states, there can be no excuse for the processes to be undermined by anti-democratic elements.